A very wise man once said, in a time of telling lies, the truth is a revolutionary act. One of the most confusing things for people just getting started in the exciting world of GMRS is how and why GMRS channels are shared with repeaters. And even though I've already talked about this many times in many videos, there still seems to be much confucklement. So I feel that it is my duty, it is my role in life, it is the very reason why I even bother getting out of bed every morning. I feel that it is up to me to help clear up this source of confuculation. So I promise in the eyes of Xenu and upon the very life of my UV5R that by the end of this video you will be confucklement free. Now as you probably know, and if you don't know, I'm about to tell you, there are 22 basic GMRS channels. To illustrate a basic GMRS channel, I'm going to use this rolled up gym sock. This is our standard GMRS channel, something that we're all very familiar with. On a repeater capable GMRS radio, there are also eight additional repeater only channels. To illustrate a repeater channel, I will use this. Of course, what else? Cucumber. So a basic GMRS channel, channels one through 22, is just like any other regular channel. A CB radio channel, a television channel, a radio station. It is just a single frequency. A repeater channel is very different from a standard GMRS channel. A repeater channel is two channels combined. A normal GMRS channel for listening or receiving and a special transmitting only channel or frequency. The magic of a GMRS radio, the magic of GMRS in general, is that when you put your radio on a repeater channel, the radio already knows automatically the difference between the two. And the radio automatically knows what to do with these two frequencies. In the ham world, they would call these two frequencies an offset. And that just means that one of the frequencies is offset from the other frequency by a specific number of megahertz. In the GMRS world, that number of megahertz is always five. The offset between the two is always five megahertz. But the beauty, more of the beauty of GMRS is that you don't have to care about or worry about any of that. All you need to know is that a repeater channel has a receive frequency and a transmit frequency. And a regular channel only has the single transmit and receive frequency or channel. And on the repeater channel, the two frequencies combined, they work together like this. Because remember, they're offset by five megahertz. What did you think it was gonna look like? So when you are using a GMRS radio and you tune that radio to a repeater channel, the radio knows to listen on one frequency and transmit on the other frequency, all automatically. So when you tune your GMRS radio to a repeater frequency, you transmit on one frequency and receive on the other frequency. The repeater, off on a hill somewhere, listens on the one frequency and then retransmits or repeats everything on the frequency that you are listening to. That is the magic of how a repeater channel works on GMRS, but the question remains how and why are the channels shared? What does it mean when a GMRS expert says that repeater channels and regular channels are shared on GMRS radios? The FCC, in its infinite and unquestionable wisdom, long ago decided that GMRS radios shalt have 22 channels. Now, the FCC did allow for eight additional repeater channel transmitting frequencies, remember, but the FCC still limits those receiving frequencies to those basic 22 channels 
actually for the repeaters, basic eight receiving channels, channels 15 through 22. So as already mentioned, the FCC combined the existing channels 15 through 22 with the special transmitting only channels to come up with our repeater channels. But even though the repeater channels are separate entities, separate things, separate spaces on your knob when you're tuning the channel, when you're listening, you're always listening to those channels 15 through 22. Keep up now. This means that when you are listening to channels 15 through 22, you're talking to your friends on channels 15 through 22 with your regular old GMRS radio or FRS radio, when you're listening to those channels, you are also listening to the eight repeater channels because 15 through 22 are shared with those repeater channels. So when you are listening to these, you are also listening to these. It is inevitable. This is why when you're talking to your friends, for example, on GMRS channel 19, the official highway channel for GMRS, you might hear people talking on a repeater many fars away. And if you're on channel 19 and you try to talk to those guys on the repeater, many, many fars away because the repeater will allow them to talk many fars or farzer. When you try to talk to them, they won't hear you because you're talking on the regular GMRS channel 19, whereas they are talking on the magical repeater channel, which has the different transmitting frequency, which is what goes to the repeater. You're only hearing what's coming out of the repeater. So no matter how hard you try, how hard you yell, or how much power you have, if you're on regular GMRS channel 19, the big boys on the repeater won't hear you. Not only because of that different transmitting channel that's only on the special repeater channel, but also because most repeaters require a tone or a code to activate the repeater to make it work and repeat whatever you're saying. But that is a whole nother video. I'm having trouble just explaining this. So now you may be asking yourself, but how do I know if when I'm listening to someone on channel 19, are they talking on channel 19 or are they talking on a repeater? And sometimes it can be hard to tell. Most repeaters have what the experts call a squelch tail. That's a little blip of static that you hear at the end of every transmission. So when the guy says breaker, breaker, when they let go of the transmit button, you'll hear a little half a second or so of static. If you hear that, then they're probably talking on a repeater. But sometimes it's hard to tell and you just may not know. This is one of the things that makes the world of GMRS so exciting and dynamic.